Well, here I sit in the living room, wet sanding Matthew Lupo's axe head. Just got a little bucket of water, soapy water here to keep the metal file shavings, metal dust from uh, clogging up the sandpaper. And just going along, taking my time tonight. I'm using a, uh, a towel on top of my mouse pad to hold the axe steady and to keep from messing the coffee table up too much. Right now I'm working with uh, 220 grit, wet or dry paper. And we'll just wipe this off here and see what we got. Dry it somewhat. See how that looks. Yeah. It's looking pretty good. And I wish at this point right now, I wish this wasn't a vintage axe. I'd really love to take all these these pits, that rust pits and stuff out of here. But even still, it's still a nice looking axe. And uh, I've got, uh, I went down today and bought a whole bunch of uh, wet or dry paper. I've got from uh, 220 all the way up to, let's see, what do we got here? What's... Uh, uh, 1,000, 1,500, what I got? Okay, I'm up to, well, let me turn that right side up. You can see up to 2,000 grit right there. And then uh, after that, I've got a little uh, attachment for my drill. And I will take this thing up to like 12,000 and... Uh, that will be a mirror polish on that head. I guarantee you, the polish part won't rust again. You know, just put a little wax on it, buff it up once in a while, maybe a little little oil, mineral oil or something, uh, olive oil, whatever. You know, just keep it lubricated and it won't rust. Okay, well, back to work. You all uh, take care. Bye-bye.